gonna do an acoustic guitar session with a microphone, but also we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and get a direct signal. So now I take the other end of this instrument cable. I'm using a patch bay and I'm gonna go into my DI box. So I'm coming out of the patch bay into input number two on my audio interface, the Apollo Twin. And then the microphone is coming out of the input number one of the patch bay into input number one of the interface, the Apollo Twin. What that means, I can track both of those signals simultaneously and blend them. I would suggest panning them, you know, and you get this beautiful depth. Okay, so now I showed you how I have everything set up for the interface and the mixer of the interface and Pro Tools. Let's go ahead and start tracking in Pro Tools. Okay, I like that. Now notice I always hit save. It's just like a nervous habit, right? I'm gonna just turn the volume down on my pedal board so that way I don't have to, while I'm editing, I don't have to hear the guitar ring out like crazy. Let's check out these two tracks. I think they're pretty tight. I Notice I, was, I kept looking at the screen. I was monitoring the input signal. And if you look at the transients, the peaks and valleys of the transients, they're about the same. So we did accomplish what? We accomplished a good, clean input signal going into the DAW. So we're not gonna have any analog or uh, digital clipping, okay? Very important, we don't want that clipping. That's what we mean by good, clean signal. Thank <laughs> you. 